I'm Bruce Hopkins, lived in Memphis all my life, wasn't born here, but I consider myself a native Memphian. Chairman of First Tennessee Bank's West Region, have been with First Tennessee for 35 years. And my story about cancer is, is, is very simple. Um, it, it came totally out of the blue. I had no symptoms, I had no warnings. Um, for 26 years, uh, prior to December 10th, 2010, I went in the first December, had my physical with my uh, internist, and the next day, uh, for 26 straight years, I'd go to Dr. Gary Passens, who's a very fine eye doctor here in Memphis, and had my eyes checked. And this is the way I was raised. And uh, every year, everything was normal. December 10th, though, 2010, Dr. Passens was running late. And I said, well, when can you get me back in? I've got to be someplace tonight for a holiday event downtown, uh, representing First Tennessee, and the receptionist said, well, we can get you in May 3rd of you know, 2011. I said, for some reason, just in the back of my head, no, I've always done it this way. So long story short, Dr. Passens finally shows up. Uh, they redilate me. Uh, they turn off the lights. They have the machines going. I'm sitting there getting, I'm looking in my eye, and they said, right eye looks perfect. Let's look at that left eye. We'll have you out of here in five to 10 minutes max. They started to look at my left eye and they brought in another piece of equipment that was overhead. And then they brought in another thing from the side and I noticed the two uh, nurses uh, that are always there with Dr. Passens in the back, I noticed they were very curiously looking at these um, monitors that they're looking at. And Dr. Passens all of a sudden pulls back eases back on this little chair where he's been looking into my eyes. And so I got to go on the phone real quick. And I hear he calls, uh, Steve, I, I need you real quick. Um, I'm gonna send someone to you right now. And he hangs up, hangs up the phone and he says, Bruce, uh, there's something in your left eye we really need to look at. And I'm gonna send you over to Charles Retina, which is right around the corner. And I said, but it's, it's after six. He said, they're waiting on you. I drive over to Charles Retina, took me two minutes max to get there. There's a team waiting on me. And uh, they said, don't worry about the medical stuff. We're taking you right back. They take me right back. They put some more drops in my eyes. And um, these two doctors, Dr. Raffetary and, and uh, Dr. Charles, Steve Charles, they said, we don't want to tell you this, but you have a very serious cancerous tumor in your left eye. It's called an ocular ciliary melanoma. And they are very rare. I went, you gotta be kidding me. I said, what are the symptoms? And they said, they reeled off some symptoms. I said, I haven't had any of that. Literally, I've not had any of that. And I said, I just had my physical yesterday. I'm, I'm in perfect health. I said, it doesn't matter. You've got a very serious tumor in your left eye. And they said, we're making a call right now. We're gonna call uh, Barrett Hike uh, at UT Hamilton Eye Institute. And we're gonna call his, his colleague, Dr. Matthew Wilson. So. I said, well, you know, I'm going to L.A. tomorrow uh, for a uh, meeting. And they said, well, go to L.A. for your meeting, but you'll be seeing Matt and Barrett on Monday morning. So went to L.A. for the meeting, came back, uh, went in and saw Dr. Hike and Dr. Wilson. And they did some more tests, and uh, Dr. Wilson, who I did not know as well as I knew Dr. Hike, came back and said, i got to tell you something. You've won the wrong lottery because this is a very rare, rare cancer. It's, it's rarely seen, uh, but when it's seen, it's really bad. So what we're gonna do, uh, we made an appointment for you at the West Clinic uh, to see Dr. Polera. Uh, tomorrow morning, he's gonna see you first thing. They're gonna do a battery of tests on you to make sure that this cancer has not spread because it likes to go to the lungs and the liver and the pancreas. And all of a sudden, I'm thinking, whew, you know, this is something else. And they, they looked at me and as I was leaving, they said, well, you seem so calm. And I said, look, I've been involved with St. Jude a long time. I've been involved with a number of families and I've seen these little children deal with this. If they can deal with it, I can deal with it. Well, I went to West Clinic the next day for the battery of appointments that went on for about three hours. The good news was it hadn't left my eye. And I was fast-tracked uh, for to six days later to have the first of two surgeries uh, on my eye. And 
I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to explain it just in the terms that, 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 that I remember it and have lived through it. Um, uh, it's, they take a radio, it's like a little bottle cap, and it's got radioactive seeds, and, I, and, it, and, and the cap is, uh, there's a brilliant doctor at, at uh, University of Tennessee at Methodist um, down, downtown, uh, who's German, and he designs, devises and designs the cap to the size of the tumor. And uh, my tumor was, was large by standards for, for my eye, and I, this cap was designed to hold 18 little radioactive seeds, which are like uh, the, each the size of a grain of rice. And you go in early in the morning, and it's about a six, seven hour procedure. Uh, obviously, they put you under, they take the eye down, and they literally very intricately and delicately sew this cap onto the tumor of your eye. And they put a bracelet on you after you get out of recovery and you are literally quarantined for seven to eight days. In my case, uh, I could do it at home. It was over Christmas. Uh, it was one of the best and worst Christmases I ever had uh, because as the days went on uh, and the, the radiation treatment went on, the hotter and redder my face got. On the left side of my face, you could have fried pancakes or waffles or eggs. And on the seventh day, you go back, or eighth day, you go back into the hospital, back to Methodist, uh, back into the room. Uh, they prepare you for surgery. You go into surgery. Uh, they take the, the, the cap that has all the seeds, radioactive seeds, off. They do more surgery and put your eye back together and you wake up a couple hours later in recovery and they send you home and then you, you watch uh, over the next uh, weeks, months, and year to make sure that the radiation has eradicated the tumor in your eye. So it's a pretty intensive, uh, an intense process. And uh, while I was going through my recovery process, you know, all I wanted to do was get back to normal uh, get back to work, get back to playing tennis, get back to being with my family, get back to riding my bike, get back to traveling, doing all the things I love to do because I'm a very active person. And within six weeks, I was basically able to do that. And within three months of, you know, they were looking at me every month going, you know, this is really, really looking good. You know, the tumor is shrinking, it's going away uh, to the point that within a year, the tumor was gone. I still have to go uh, every six to nine months. Uh, it's basically however I want to do it to West Clinic where I get full body scans and MRIs, et cetera, to make sure that my, the rest of my body is still clean. I go to the Charles Retina Clinic every six weeks for a checkup. In fact, was just there the other day. Um, I go to UT Hamilton every uh, five months uh, to go through the whole battery of tests that you go through from their standpoint. It certainly beats the alternative of what uh, uh, the downside of this cancer, ocular cancer that I had, uh, is because there are a lot of people don't survive it and uh, I'm one of the lucky ones and I'm lucky because of the incredible treatment I was able to get in Memphis. I could have gone to New York, I could have gone to Philadelphia, I could have gone to Los Angeles or Miami. Dr. Hike, Dr. Wilson offered me those alternatives, uh, but when you have the best of the best at your front doorstep here in Memphis uh, with uh, UT Hamilton and Charles Retina uh, and Dr. Passens who made the initial discovery, uh, we're very, very lucky and I'm a very lucky person uh, to have been, been able to be treated uh, and, and cured to this point.